We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the... Johan Ramirez is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go of that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is called in for the first down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings forward Ronald Acuna Jr. First pitch on its way. Line drive to center field. Smith is there. Two gone. Batting third. The second baseman. Aldi. Aldi. First delivery to him on the way. High in the air, deep down the left field line. A ball that's carrying. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. The windup and the 0 1. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. Ender and Ciarte will be the next to bat. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. That batting average up in the stratosphere here to begin play. Four home runs and 22 RBIs. Hit hard on the ground is short. Toss over to Gordon at second, and that ends the inning. Left for Atlanta. So now the Mariners' offense gets to work for the first time. We've got no score. Phil Necro gets the starting assignment for the Braves. Dan, any thoughts? Boy, this guy was unbelievably good in his last one. Struck out a ton of guys in an amazing performance, and all of his pitches were working. Let's hope he brings that A game back with him in this one. Swanson will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Striding forward for his first chance, Malik Smith. And he's been swinging it well the last couple of games. Now, well, boys, these Braves, as they take the field here tonight, they come in unbeaten and playing well here in the year of going. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Lifted down the line in left, and they can't run it down. Big swing and a miss at the knuckler, and now there are two gone. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. Ooh wee That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. A ball and two strikes to Mitch Hanniger. And he missed with it up and in to even things at two and two. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Mariners are down in order. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Hit high and deep out to left. Back goes Gonzalez. Still ranging back. Out of here. Into the visitor's bullpen. Hey, listen. There's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. So now to the plate, Andrew Jones. As he will line this one into right center. And this is going to get down and should be extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. The third baseman, Chipper Jones. Into the box, Chipper Jones. He swings and grounds it to short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. 
batting it. The book bag. Dansby Swanson. Steel, Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Not in time. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. Set and the 0 1. With runners in scoring position this season, Swanson is hitting over 400. Doesn't matter if you're talking about a series of games or a whole career, that's an impressive figure. You want to talk? Pitch is way outside, and that's straight to the backstop. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's 1 and 2. Chopper to short. Only play is going to be to first, so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to two to nothing now. Got it done. The next to bat for Atlanta, Go. Joe Torre. They've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Throw won't get him. You know, that's sort of a tough one since it's only the second inning, but I think it's about knowing your pitcher and how they respond. He's had some struggles here, so I think he's just reminding him to let those go and focus on the next batter. He's not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double. Then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. Slapped hard the opposite way. Catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And another runs across as this is now a 4-0 ball game. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. Grounded to short. Throw in time, and they stop the bleeding as this side... Dan Vogelbach is next. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Knuckleball taken inside for a strike. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Digging in now for the Mariners, Kyle Seeger. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. No balls and a strike to count. Seeger behind with an 0 and 2 count. Hey, if the beat goes on, that's number eight. And he fouls this one off. Necro is what you may call a stingy starting pitcher. He rarely gets hit around and on a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One, two, three, go the mare. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up Ozzy Albies. The second base. First pitch coming. Here it is. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. And gone. An absolute bomb. Well, he hit a homer last night, too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff, don't give him anything he can extend his arms on. You do, and he's going to make you pay for it just like he did. Here's Ender in Ciarte. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The short hit hard. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. So a good job to get the out there, but with five Ready. runs already surrendered, that's not going to do any favors to the team ERA so far this season. And that's not all that promising a number as they find themselves just one spot off the bottom in the American League. Striding in once again, Freddie Freeman. 
And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Line drive to left. And Freeman's aboard. It's a base hit. Well, Matt, as we take a look at his line here, he might not know all the specifics, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Seems to be the case here. At the plate, Andrew Jones. He swings and grounds it to short. On to first, and there are two down. Up next for Atlanta, the third baseman, Chipper Jones. Now here comes the Mariner skipper out to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So as he leaves, I would imagine these fans would not be much pleased with his performance here this evening, as he certainly was not sharp. Ladies Matt McGill is going to come on to pitch please. here, and in just the third now inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Shepard Jones will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. As a look, now the pitch. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Freeman stands at second with two gone. Sharp ground ball toward the hole. And that is into right field, a base hit. And to score, the runner from second. You know who's the happiest man in the building right now? His starting pitcher. He's got a big old smile on his face. He knows he has a 6-1 lead here in the early going to work with. You can't let that take away your edge, though. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. Fouled away. Swanson has had a great season to this point, and heading into today, he's received the most all-star votes among shortstops in the league. Yeah, this comes as no surprise. This guy is one of the best players in the game, a superstar, and that's what the all-star game is about. The fans getting to see the best players put on display. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. McGill, a California-born ball player, he was taken in the very late. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. The catcher. Stepping in now, Joe, Joe Torrey. Torrey. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. Smith is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. And that'll bring in Tom Murphy. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth Bad noting again. that he'd be in line Not for the win stop. if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in Ball games for. won this season. On. And as you see there, he sits in fourth place in that department in the National League. 0-2, oh, the count to Crawford. Oh, two. Fouled off. The next 0-2. Oh, Misses oh, off the perfect. plate. Make it seven in a row. My gracious, he is simply unhittable right now. Two away. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Dylan Moore is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. A high fastball is in there. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. High in the air out towards shallow right. Jones is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. 
Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the right pitches and doing damage with them. The numbers back that up. Five extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. And you see on the graphic right there that his hitting streak will indeed live on as he just continues to hit the ball well. Acuna digs in now. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Crawford is under it, and that's the first out of the inning. The batter number one. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. Prior to the at bat, a check on first, and the runner back easily. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a ball ripped toward the gap in left center. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. The good news for pitchers in this park is that it doesn't give up many home runs. A lot of room in the outfield. Sometimes that's the bad news as well though because there's a lot of space for hits to get down and to go. Ah, but the throw is well up the line and a second run's going to score. Taylor Gilbo gets the call to pitch here and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Here's the first baseman Freddie Freeman as he will swing at the first pitch and line this one into left center and that's going to get down for extra bases. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. I'll tell you, they're posting video game numbers here. I mean, that's their 11th run of the game, and they're showing no signs of slowing down. Just an absolute onslaught from this offense. Strike taken, the throw. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. Line drive to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send it. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. First delivery to him on the way. Line drive base hit into the left center field gap. Running hard. He's digging for second. Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by no matter what. Work the count, make the pitcher waste a few pitches. But when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. And that's just what he does. Oh, and he's into third safely with the stolen base. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead. But he made it work out. That was really impressive. The 0 1 line towards center field. Oh, and this kicks right off of them. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. And he's safe. The captain, number nine, Joe Torrey. Steal! To the plate now, Joe Torrey. Pitch outside. The throw. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. one oh home into center field line drive base hit and the runner from third crosses the plate man I haven't seen an offensive explosion like this since I don't know when it's been a combination of spotty pitching and inconsistent defense and now they posted an amazing 14 runs on the board down the left field line and deep and that will end up a foul ball he's one for two in this one Runner, runner, runner. The 0 1 on its way. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Uh, trouble averted here as this is tapped out in front of the mound. Oh, and he takes his eye off it here and it goes right past him. 
And he is going to score now all the way from first on a play that was nothing short of a disaster all the way around. Man, that was a comedy of errors right there. They're kicking the ball all over the yard, and the runner on first comes all the way around to score. So you wonder why managers retire early? There's your answer right there. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. William. Right-hander standing just under six foot at 5'11". He was a fourth-round selection back in the draft of 2013. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy. Drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big league. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. Man, this thing's blown open right here. As they've exploded for eight runs in this inning alone, everyone knows that offense is contagious. That much is pretty obvious in this one. In there, now the throw. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. Pretty unusual decision to swipe third with two outs in the inning. It's a big risk, especially with a lefty hitter up there. And the benefit isn't all that great, but he made it work out. And it's in time at first, and finally, at long last, this big inning for him, though, as they bat around and score eight times to open up this lead even further. Here's D. Gordon now. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the... Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Smith, a native Floridian. He was a fifth-round pick during the first-year player draft of 2012. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Two and two. Two and two. Sure took a healthy hack that time. And it's fouled away. No runs, no hits, and one error in the ballgame for Seattle. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ballgame. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts now to start the inning. The What's field. even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. No balls in one strike. Hit to third. What a play by Chipper. The throw. It's in time. They call it the hot. Striding forward now is the D.H. Ender Inciarte coming off the clutch two-run single his last time up. Yeah, Matt, he pressures off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Now batting the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. Bullet back up the middle. Smith has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Stepping play, in, right. Andrew Jones. Right One for two with a Andrew. double on his line thus no. far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike called. Now the throw down is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. That's a swipe of the bag. And this catcher, he throws really well, too. So that's not easy. Good job there by the base runner. This is line to left. Gonzalez is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the now inning. Third base. So stepping Chipper. in, Chipper Jones trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Smith. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Brave strand one as it remains a 16 to nothing ball game. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. 
Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far, and he told me overall he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Vogelbach behind the ball and two strikes. Great arm action on that two-strike changeup right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Now batter. Here's Cargo, no Carlos here. Gonzalez. Carlos. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Now at the plate, Kyle Seeger looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Strike one to start the at-bat. And he fouls this one off. Fouled away. Still no balls and two strikes. No runs, no hits, and one error in the ballgame for Seattle. And he's got another one here. Twelve punch outs now in the ballgame, and that. Digging in once again, Dansby Swanson. And to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw to first gets in, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Stepping in for the Braves, Joe Torrey. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Left center, base hit. Legs churning, he's headed for second. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base hit. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. The 0 1 pitch. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throw gets him, two down. The center fielder. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. He's set, here it comes. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Digging in now, Tom Murphy. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. I think I'd take that one, too. It's 0-2 now. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. The batter, number three. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Fouled off. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound right now. That's five straight punch outs. I love it, but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. 
Wow, that was an ugly swing right there, and that tells us. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone. One, two, Ladies three, go the Mariners. Still 16 nothing. Yoshihisa Hirano comes on to pitch Number now, six. hoping for better results than Number the six. other arms that they've run out there in this one. Line drive to center field. But this will hang up a bit too long as it's taken in chest high for the first out. The designated hitter. Ender. Next will be the designated hitter, Ender Inciarte. He singled his last time up, lifted in the air out to center field. And this is hauled in just shy of the track out there for route number two. The first baseman, number Stepping five. in, Freddie Freeman. Freddie. Freeman. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. And it's gone as they add still another. And we've seen four round trippers from these guys so far. Dan Dero, what do you make of all this? Matty right V, Dero, I don't and know what you think, but this is no. this is like crazy. Fourth round tripper of the game so far. They're missing over the heart of the plate, not using the quadrants. In the hitters meeting, they focused on this stuff. They thought these guys now could miss it. middle, and that's exactly what's baseball. happening. Kipper. Hey, that's a heck of an effort by the third baseman right there, selling out to try and save extra bases for the pitcher, but it got through. And that'll get down for a base hit. Sometimes the first pitch is the best pitch you'll see all at bat. Definitely coming out of his shoes, an aggressive style. First pitch, base hit up the middle. And the plate now, Dansby Swanson. Pitch outside, the throw. Not in time. And how about that for Daring? It's a two-out double steal. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And it ain't coming back. Gone right into the visitor's bullpen. So a three-run blast to straight away left, his second of the game, as this lead got even wider. Austin Adams enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. So now to the plate, Joe Torre. This one skied out toward right. Waiting on it is Henniger. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. D. Gordon is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. What a performance so far. Throwing first pitch strikes to 90% of the batters. It's hard to get any better than that. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. The first pitch zero, on its way. Zero. Malik, Malik Smith one. stands in as he looks at a cold strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Goodness, 0 and 2 now. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking him up. Into the box now, Mitch Hanniger. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. And the pitch. This one's down to third. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Kenny Lofton. It's been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ballgame. He's set, and the pitch. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting, Ronald Acuna. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. 
He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front. Meanwhile here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field, and that is going to clear the wall. A home run. A solo shot here to left, and so he ties the big redhead with home run number 70 on the year as they just continue to pour it on here. And we get another look here. He is now in elite company with home run number 70 right there. The batter number one, second base. Ozzy Albies. So up steps Ozzy Albies. And it's belted high and deep into right center. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Around second, looking for the cycle. And would you believe it? It's a triple to give him the cycle. Now, 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 now that the designated hitter, Ender Inciarte. Standing in now, Ender Inciarte. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. And he is in to second base with an RBI double. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. Well, I tell you, those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. Set with the 0 and 1. Tui Vailala, a right hander standing 6 foot 3. He was selected in the third round back in the 2010 first year player draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Crawford ranges back and he has it for route number 2. Standing in, Andrew Jones. Two hits in four attempts to this point. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Waiting on it is Smith. And that's the third out. Striding forward now, the Mariners' cleanup hitter, Daniel Vogelback. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp. And it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Two balls and a strike to the Mariners' first baseman. A couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Into the corner and slicing foul. Looking to send him packing again. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Yet another strikeout for him on the mound. And fellas, this now has been back. one of his favorite victims tonight. That's the third time he sent him back. So he's got him pretty well figured out. Not that the rest of this lineup has been much better. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. Strike three. 19 strikeouts for him now. Now batter. First pitch baseman. of the at bat. Kyle, Kyle Seeger is in Seager. for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0 and 1. You see there, the pitch count is up to 88. And at this point in the game, that's a good place to be. So I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Two out, nobody on. Got him for an even 20 strikeouts now thus far as he's just been flat on. Digging in the switch hitter, Chipper Jones. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Back up the middle. And this will make its way into center field for a base hit and the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. 
Dansby Swanson will get another shot at it here as we take you back to inning number seven. This was his second home run of the ball game as he'd like nothing more than to make it three right here. Smith has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Digging in, Joe Torrey. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Inside with the sinker, and that'll keep him honest at the plate. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense? Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. In now, Kenny Lofton. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Smith in pursuit. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now trying to pick things up where we left off. Ronald Acuna, two hits in six tries for him thus far. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fact. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. Digging in, Tom Murphy starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. A ball and two strikes to the Mariners catcher. Got him. So the magic number for a perfect game is now down to two. Well, this lineup obviously doesn't get no to batter. see this number guy three. very often because he's over in the other JP. league, and it's really showing. He's Walker. pitching really well right now, and I'm sure these hitters are plenty happy they don't have to face him multiple times this year. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Swanson is there, and there are two men gone now. The batter. The plate now is the designated hitter, Dylan Moore. He represents the 27th and many hope final batter in this masterful performance. 1 and 0 oh the count. And that's too high, ball 2. This at bat sets up really good right here, right? Hasn't seen a fastball yet, but now he gets to count at two balls and no strikes. He has to be looking for a fastball right here. That's in there, 3 and 1. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Fell behind early in this one, 3-0, and has battled back with two quality strikes. Interested to see if he catches a big part of the plate right here or tries to get a nibble. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains, it pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. Well, you don't have to look too far to find our tops player of the game. I'd say any time you throw a perfect game, you'd be a pretty strong candidate. Yeah, no need to offer any debate this time. All you have to do is...